Hey guys, welcome back to another, as when he calls it, Thrifty Thursday, right? I was gonna say Thirsty right. Thursday. Thir no, <laughs> that's a thrifty, different video. <laughs> thrifty Thursday, uh, went back to the bins, of course. We've been trying to go more often, find more stuff to flip. Uh, again, when he has Depop, I'm running Mercari and another Depop shop also. I just opened it up mm -hmm. and I'm listing stuff on Facebook also. All that stuff is listed in the description so. yeah his depop is called gnarly monster just real quick and mine is called lucky rabbit pickers yeah yeah and uh yeah so got a nice little mountain of stuff to show you so let's get into it monique will kick it off with her haul so i'm gonna start with some miscellaneous items first i found some sparkly pink sequin build-a-bear shoes i'm gonna probably put these on my Hello Kitty Build-A-Bear that I have. Uh, I got this Caboodles. It looks vintage. It says Caboodles of California and it has a price tag of $209 on there. And it's like double-sided. I feel like I had something like this when I was little, but it was like from the dollar store. And I would put like little Barbie shoes in it and stuff. Uh, I found this cute little lemon print little pouch. It's just from Ipsy, but it's super clean. And I like little pouches like this. I don't know why. I guess for organization. Uh, I found this. Um, it's kind of like a little storage pouch thing to put like a flat iron. It needs to be washed, but it looks like it's good quality. So I grabbed it for myself. Found a bunch of tissue paper. I like to wrap my... Um, Depop orders and tissue paper and then put them in a poly mailer. So there's that. Got some craft paper also for like protecting fragile items uh, when I'm shipping stuff. Uh, I found a couple pieces of this fabric. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like a mesh with like little polka dots. If you, I don't even know if it'll show up on camera, but I just thought it was cool fabric. So I grabbed that and it weighs like nothing. Uh, I got this canvas fabric. There's a good amount of it. It has a really cute pattern of like little houses and trees. It kind of reminds me of like old school Hello Kitty, you know, with like little houses and trees and stuff. And the back is just like that. It's pretty thick, durable fabric. Found a few like little dust bags. Yeah, I think that's what they're called. You could like store your purse in them. This is a Michael Kors one. I'm probably just gonna end up keeping these um, to use for personal use. I found this one. I think this is a Tory Burch one. There's like a little um, metal medallion thing on there. And then I got this one. This one was actually like you know when you buy um, bed sheets, they come in like these little things now. So um, I'm going to use this also for like a purse to protect it from dust. All right, let's jump into uh, some of my haul. I got a little, a nice little mix here. I'll start off with the t-shirts I got. I got this uh, just classic Vans logo uh, kids shirt here. It's size medium, I believe. Yeah, medium. That's going to be on uh, my Depop. Uh, we found this uh, Thrasher shirt right before we left. I think that's a dude's um, small or medium. I don't remember. Small. I think so. That's a that's an adult small right there. Thrasher shirt. It's gonna go on my Depop also. Then I found this cool Pulp Fiction shirt here. I thought that was cool. And this one is a size 2 X, oh, size XL, but it's pretty big. Like, I'm able to put it on, um, and it fits all right. So that one's going to go on Depop also. So I was excited to find this pair of curtains off the bins. It's a print. It's kind of like a gray and white, like, swirly print. It also kind of has, like, fleur-de-lis things in there. And I'm just going to be using these for our house. They're super long, so I'm happy that they're long. <laughs> they're gonna fit the window perfectly, basically. I don't, I don't know why I struggle with 
speaking. Um, and then I found this brand new set of curtains. This is from Ikea originally. And there's two panels in here. It looks to be like those sheer ones. And they're just white. Next is this really cute Hello Kitty pillowcase. It's super clean. I didn't find the other one, so maybe there was just one. I don't know. But I've seen like other people selling like little kid. Um, sorry, Orphe's meowing in the background. You can see her little tail right there. Uh, I've seen other people selling like uh, bed sheets and stuff like that, so I'm gonna try it out. And it was really cute. It's Hello Kitty. I couldn't leave it behind. I like Hello Kitty stuff. It's very nostalgic. Morphe's crying because Ivan's in the room. Uh, Ivan found this blanket for me, actually. It's a Shopkins blanket. And it has the little strawberry character on there. And the cookie guy. And all the other little guys. It's really cute. It's very soft. I think it's like a fleece fabric. I got a couple of hoodies here. I got a kid's uh, youth uh, Santa Cruz, the classic dot Santa Cruz pullover hoodie right here. That's going to be on my Depop. And then I got, uh, I think Monique found this one, a Vans pullover hoodie also. Just going to give it a little wash. Got a couple of spots down here. Uh, that's going to go on Depop uh, as well. Okay, so now we'll get into like the clothes and whatnot. Uh, I found this pair of bomb Bombas, is that how you say it? Bombas slippers. And they're like brand new. They still got the tag there. This is a size medium and it comes in a cute little carrying pouch. I was looking online and these retail for like 40 bucks and up brand new. They look like this and they have like the little grippers on the bottom. And then on the inside, they're lined. They're really soft. They're nice. I would keep them, but they don't fit me. I have big old feet, so these are a size medium. I'll be selling those on Depop probably most likely. Found a, I'm not sure what this is. I want to say it's like a scarf or maybe it's like a yoga mat towel thing, workout towel, but it's a Lululemon item. There's a little logo right there and it's huge. It's like this gray piece of fabric. If you guys know what it is, let me know. But it's huge. So it probably is like a travel towel or something. I'm not sure. But it does say Lululemon on the tag. Uh, I found these really comfy black yoga pants. I'm just gonna keep these for myself. They're super soft and cozy. And they have pockets. They're kind of like tapered at the bottom. These pants will probably uh, end up keeping them as well. Well, if they fit. It's just a, um, I don't know about this brand. American Rag, I think it says. That's what the tag looks like. Focus. Anyway, there's these black like, um, kind of like skinny jeans, but they're fabric, they're stretchy fabric. Found these, yeah, these are Levi's. They're black skinny jeans. They're a little faded from uh, washing, but that's what they look like. I will keep these if they fit me. Next is this really cute dress. It's like a navy blue, I believe, with little kitties all over. And the kitties are really cute. Cute little print. That's what it looks like. And this one is a size medium, so I'll probably end up selling this one. Is that navy blue or is that black? I can't tell on this lighting. I want to say it's navy blue. found this really pretty long green dress it's a sleeveless dress and it is lined like up to where's the little liner there's a liner in there trust me but it's super long it's like a maxi dress and it's kind of like a knitted fabric it's a forest green 
And this one is by a brand called Bobo. Bobo. And it's made in USA, so I believe it is vintage. And Goodwill was trying to sell it for $8.49. So there go all the tags. And you can kind of see the liner in there. It's very like, I guess you would call that like earth core or something, like or fairy core. It's kind of in that category. Next, I found this black distressed knitted tank top. And the bottom is kind of like, it has like an unfinished hem. And then on the sides, these hems really like stand out too. They're kind of unfinished. It looks really cozy and soft. Um, this one is a medium. I'm not familiar with this brand. It's called PQLA. So I don't know. Just It looks cool. It looks very goth. I like picking up um, gothic items or things that look gothy. Vampire stuff. Uh, and then I found this like long sleeve sweater top. It's really cute. It's kind of like a dark gray color. And it has little pom-poms on the bottom. That's what the back looks like. And this panel on the front kind of like opens a little bit. This one is by a brand called P.O.L. It's a medium. It's very cute. I like that. Next is this like satiny muted gold top with a collar. It's a long sleeve, has buttons down the front. Uh, the cuffs also have a button and it kind of opens like that. Gives me like Y2K vibes. It's really pretty. Um, this one is by a brand called Anxiety, which I feel like is a Y2K brand. I can't remember. Um, this one, Goodwill was trying to sell for $7.49. So now it's mine to sell on Depop. I even found this top. It's a little white uh, t-shirt with a collar. It's kind of like baby tee style. Uh, it has Tinkerbell on the front. She looks really cute. In this little graphic, it says Aloha from Neverland. Kind of like a little tropical image right there. And the back says the same thing, Aloha from Neverland. So it's pretty cute. It's pretty clean. I don't see any stains on it. This is a size large and it looks older. So it's probably also like Y2K era. I found this Carhartt top. I'm surprised no one else grabbed it. It is a long sleeve. It has really cute metal buttons down the front with two pockets. It has the collar. It's super clean. And it has buttons on the sleeves also. This is a size medium, 810. And once again, it's Carhartt brand. So that'll be for sale also. Next is this black velour top. It's stretchy, super goth, very cozy. This one is also a medium. And it's by Abercrombie & Fitch. So, I don't see any stains or anything wrong with it. It's really nice. I picked up some books. Uh, books are, books slash magazines are five for a dollar. Five for 99 cents, so usually I try to look for five. The first one I got here is uh, Stephen King's Misery. I love this movie, never read the book. Like I told you guys, uh, I'm trying to read. I'm still on that Stephen King uh, Shining book. And then I got Neil Gaiman's Good Omens. I believe this is a, a TV show on Amazon or a series on Amazon. I think we watched like the first episode and never, then we never came back to it. So Good Omens, so check that out. Then I got this Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince hardback book. Uh, this is number six in the series, year six. I figure eventually I wanna read these so as I see the hardbacks, I'm going to pick them up. And then I got these two, two cool magazines here. Uh, they're called Cartoons. I, these are 1989. October 1989. They are cool. I thought I recognized the style um, as Bruce Blitz. Some of you guys are, might remember who Bruce Blitz was if you grew up. Uh, if you were around in like the early 90s, late 80s. He had one of those drawing shows on TV. And I thought this was his style. 
And look, they still have the um, the pull out like posters in there too. That's super cool. Yeah, I thought this was his style, but it's not. I'm not sure who the artist is. Trosley, maybe T R O S L E Y. It's funny because you can still see that this is still photocopied because where he he um, where he put his name down, it's like a little cut out square, and he's just kind of colored it with the same color. That's awesome. So I got this 1989 and 1991. I thought these were super cool. Never seen these before in my life. Oh, this one's funny. I told Ivan to grab it. He was showing it to me like as a joke, but I was like, you have to grab it. It's cute. So this one is a red top. It says Meowy Christmas. It's very cute. It has lots of little kitties on there with the Christmas tree. This one looks like a grandma shirt for sure. Uh, the tag has been cut out. I'm trying to see if there's like a size anywhere. No, I don't see a size, but it's in really good condition. I don't see like any staining on it or any holes. And the back is just plain. It's really cute. I gotta wash that. It kind of smells like grandma perfume. This one is by Amber Crombie and Fitch. From the Soft A and F collection. I thought I said Soft A F. Uh, it's a small. See, this is the tag. I don't know if you guys would be able to read that. Anyway, it's kind of like this cream color T-shirt. They made it look old, but it's not old. It has Elton John on there. So, and this one's pretty clean as well. I don't see any stains on it. On the bottom it says Goodbye Yellow Brick Road 1973. So that's pretty cool graphic on there. This is just a white plain uh, workout top. It's by Lululemon. And the little logo's on the back. Can you, will you be able to see that or is it washed out? Come on. There you go. And I'm not sure what size this is. It's hard to like find sizes on these things sometimes. Because Lululemon likes to like hide their tag. I don't understand why. But it's probably like a small. I want to say it's like a small. Because it's a little, yeah. It might fit a medium. But it's most likely a small. Next is this Power Ranger t-shirt. I like the graphic on this. That's why I picked it up. And the t-shirt is kind of like a bluish gray color does have a couple stains on the back that I'm going to try to get out at the very bottom. And this one is a size medium by a brand called We Love Fine For Fans By Fans 2017. I thought that was pretty cool. Very nostalgic. Got this uh, Halloween. Is this Halloween? Oh, it's not. Or maybe it is. I don't know. It has a little jack-o'-lantern on it. It's a size large, 12 to 14, and it has a very cute little cat face on it. And it does have like some bleach staining on it. I'm not sure if somebody did that or if it came like that, but either way, it looks like it's part of the shirt. So maybe they did do it like this. I don't know. I thought it was cute. What's up, Orphy? Orphy's on the table now. She's sniffing all the clothes. Got a couple of uh, toys here. First of all, I got one of these vintage Viewmasters. Uh, this one is a Sawyer Viewmaster. And from what I can see, I believe it's a vintage one. I kind of looked at a bunch of them online and uh, it still works. I just didn't get any of the little uh, reels to put in here. And they seem to go for a decent amount. So I said, why not? I'll try it. I'll pop it on Mercari, see if it moves. Found this cool uh, vintage Catwoman from Batman uh, animated series. It's like, I don't know if it was like a topper to something. 1993, but I thought that was cool. A little cool in my display case. Display case. And got a Imagine Next Joker here. I got a nice little lot of these building up. Uh, that I, eventually I'm going to put that lot onto uh, Mercari. Got a tech deck here. Monique found the tech deck. Grizzly grip, grip Tape, and it's Jordan, um, what is the last name? Jordan Maxa Maxim, Maxam, Maxham, Maxim, uh, it's blind, like Reaper deck. 
So that's cool. I started putting these on um, Depop as well. Uh, I got a nice little handful of these that I found at the bins. And then I found this cool NECA, I believe this is like, a, well it is King Kong, but it's neck. I believe it's NECA, it feels like NECA, uh, and it's super cool. The only thing is one of the legs was broken off, and I wanted to see if I could find the leg, but I couldn't, so I figure eventually I'll make a custom, I'll put like a robotic leg or something if I could find one, but it was just too cool to leave behind, even with the broken leg, so I decided to bring it with me. I don't know if you guys know, but there's a comedian, her name is Angela Johnson, and she has like a really uh, famous joke about getting her nails done. You know, like the crypto nail and all that. But anyway, she talks about, I believe she talks about this nail shop in her joke, and it's called Beautiful Nail. And it says just one. Like you're only going to get one nail done. Anyway, I thought it was funny, um, and I grabbed it. It's a size small. And it says Angela right there. Looks like Goodwill was trying to sell it for just $2.99. And it's like brand new. There's nothing wrong with it. Really lightweight t-shirt. It's funny too because I was like watching a podcast with her in there recently. And then I found the shirt. I guess she was just like in my mind. And the last thing I will show you guys is this white t-shirt. It looks like a halter top. And it's by a brand called John Galt, California. It looks vintage. I'm not sure if it is. Um, and it has a really cool muscle car on here. The back says Motor Show, San Francisco, Los Angeles, New York, Boston, Seattle, Georgetown, 1984. So I don't know if they, they made it to look old or if it is actually vintage. Trying to look at the stitching. Yeah, the stitching is not single stitch, so I'm not sure. But it's kind of like cropped. Doesn't go down all the way. So that's it. That's everything I have to show you guys. Here are some miscellaneous goodies I found. White uh, Stadler uh, Mar this is Mars plastic eraser. Love these erasers, so brought one. I got another little um, like cake topper for Monique. We actually use one of these uh, for our cake that Monique made for our wedding. And I found another one, so she's gonna keep that. And then I found this cool Happy Mummy's Day uh, button. And this button is from 19, it was sold for a dollar and it was made in the USA and it was put out in 1983 by Hallmark. Uh, so I thought that was cool. I'm gonna put this up on Depop uh, See if it moves It has like a nice little nice little uh, Texture on it, but that's pretty cool and then last thing I found is this uh, Adele 21 e uh, L uh, vinyl and It's complete it has the inserts and everything vinyl is clean no scratches. I'm surprised it was there. It was in the bins. And I'm surprised nobody got it. So I picked it up and I'm going to pop it on Mercari and see if I could flip it. Get a couple bucks out of it. So I just I couldn't leave it behind. Uh, but that's it. That's all of my haul. Alright guys. So that's the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed uh, both of our hauls. Our collective hauls together. Um, thank you so much for watching. Did I already say that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And check out links in our description box below. Yeah. Um, did I get everything? I think that's I it. Forget everything? That's it. For forget everything. Forget anything. I, I forgot everything. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, so we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.